another holiday, another excuse to not eat healthy? Mm -mm. No. This, not this <laughs> Valentine's Day. That doesn't have to be the case. Yeah, maybe that breakfast in bed can include strawberry jam we're about to show you. Clinical diabetes educator Joy Vavano joining us in. Uh, in for Kelly Mueller. She is a diabetes uh, educator at Rochester Regional Health System. We're trying to still get that roll off our tongues. <laughs> um, and it's hard to speak when you're you're smelling this. It smells wonderful and Looks I just want to eat too. it all up. But let's talk about it first. <laughs> so this is strawberry chia jam. Um, it's very easy to make at home and it's got a lot of health benefits so that's why you know we're featuring it today so well, because jams in general the people who have diabetes need to be careful you right? think of all yes, the sugar in the high jam in sugar right. high in sugar in the um, the only uh, fruit in this is strawberries now you can make it with any fruit okay. so the one okay. I made is strawberry but you could do it with blueberries you could do it with mixed berries and the secret ingredient are these chia seeds okay. which are I are if you remember the old chia pets, yes. they're basically the <laughs> same seeds, but they're found to have a lot of good health benefits, high in fiber and high in the omega-3 fatty acids, which okay. are so important for heart health, for um, Who knew that brain chia's, health. Yeah, yeah. chia was so good for you. Very good for you. So what you do to make this recipe is you just uh, cook down some frozen strawberries in like two cups or so. Um, it's kind of free form. Or what um, do you mean cook it down? I'm, put I'm it on cooking the, in pairs. Okay, so. put it in a pot <laughs> on uh -huh. the stove, heat it up, um, let the berries break down. And you can add a little sweetener, a little maple syrup. If you want to be careful of the added carbs, you could add a little stevia, um, which is a, a more natural sweetener. Mm -hmm. And then once the berries have broken down and are nice and soft, you add in two and a half tablespoons of the chia seeds. Okay. Cook that for a couple of minutes and then let it uh, sit till it cools. Pour it into a glass uh, container or any container that you have and refrigerate. And you can see it comes out with the thickness of a jam. Okay. And so the, do they taste like any? Do the chia seeds taste like anything? The chia seeds are a little crunchy, crunchy. maybe, but what happens is when they get uh, soft they gel so that's what kind of gels the oh, strawberries I see. okay oh. yeah and you know you don't really taste them in this you taste more the fruit okay um, so I've seen chia in other things too I've seen chia in yogurts exactly. and I'm always so curious because they look so, look so cool you're looking mm. at the yogurt and it's got the little seeds in it but I'm always like oh I don't know I'm afraid what if it adds a different flavor you're saying not, not really not too much and what's nice about this is that you could put it in your oatmeal you could put it in your yogurt you could put it on oh. toast mm -hmm. um, um, you could probably spread it on a uh, English muffin. Sure. You know, it's a you nice way to... You could use it like you to, would a regular jam. Exactly. But you're also getting the benefit okay. of that fiber and okay. the omega-3s, which you don't get in, typically in jam. Mm. Uh, Plant-based diets. I know that it's yes. a, for people who want to go to this as a lifestyle, as a way of eating, you've got some advice for them, right? I love this. That's right. We um, And actually, at uh, Rochester Regional Health System, through um, Unity Diabetes and Endocrinology, we are running a plant-based nutrition class which starts in March and I think um, you're going to show some information mm -hmm. about how to register for that but what's what we are really uh, uh, promoting in that class is helping people move towards more of a plant-based low-fat meal plan because what we what a lot of the research shows is that people who follow this style of uh, eating are able to not only reduce weight but reduce the risk of chronic disease, heart mm. disease, diabetes, um, reduce blood pressure, that kind of thing. So it, it tends to be a healthier style of eating. Okay. And you're going to show people how to do that, shopping the, lists yes, and all that cook, stuff. We do, we do actually cook in front of people. Good. Let's I try it right need now. someone to hold yeah. my hand. <laughs> Jen, you ready to try uh, the chia seeds? Yes, I am. From chia pet mm. to chia jam. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Thank you for bringing these in oh, and thank sure. you for sharing the recipe. Sure. Yes, we'll have more information up online. Yep. Uh, I'll save before I take a bite. Wow. Weather, traffic, and local headlines are coming up next. This now, is a winner. Bon appetit to me. I'm going to try <laughs> this at home. This is easy.